On behalf of Black Hill State University and Yellow Jacket Athletics, we welcome you and thank you for coming uh, to our press conference today. Um, I would like to acknowledge uh, President Dr. Tom Jackson Jr., um, who most of you are aware uh, this past spring um, helped in a decision to add women's soccer to Black Hill State University as one of our varsity sports. And uh, a very vibrant sport, not only just in our community with youth and high school, uh, but in the area, in the region, and in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, a very competitive sport uh, from top to bottom. So um, an opportunity for us to, uh, to allow for women in the sport of soccer to come to Black Hill State, receive their education, and compete at a Division II level. Uh, one, it helps us to continue to make strides towards our, meeting our Title IX compliance, but it also brings 20 or 30 new students to Black Hill State with an opportunity to compete at something they love to do while earning a degree and, and working toward a career. Um, and so without further ado, the first Black Hill State University Yellow Jacket head women's soccer coach, Coach Robert Blake. If I talk too fast, just slow me down, ask me to re-go again. I am from England, and I do get plenty of problems on the phone with people having to, you know, not understanding what I'm saying. Um, but first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you for Jet the School for giving me the opportunity. Um, thank you for everybody for being here. Um, I'm really excited. I can tell you, once I got the offer, I was jumping up and down for a few days in a row, just ready to accept and ready to get out here. So you can imagine how excited I am. Um, and really, just keep it short and sweet. I, you know, I just want to get going. I want to get on this. I've been waiting too long to have an opportunity like this to not get started. And you know, I'm eager. You can see it in me. I'm just jiggly. I want to get going. <laughs> um, but with that, um, I presume there's going to be questions. Um, so let's go ahead. What do you see as one of your biggest challenges starting up a soccer program? Um, <clears throat> well. There's obviously the challenge of the fact that um, Jet alluded to as our conference is a very challenging conference for women's soccer. Um, conference uh, winners last year made it to the final four. So <clears throat> there's the quality issue there. You know, if we want to play, do we want to just come in and be bystanders or do we want to come and actually compete from the get go? For me, I want to compete from the get go. I don't just want to compete on the field and compete off the field as well in the classroom. Um, so that would be our biggest challenge. Plus, for me, not fully knowing the area just yet and where our best recruits are going to be coming from and where our coaches and I can connect from and all that stuff, I've still got to pick up and learn just as I go along. That's what it's going to be. And really, it's just a learning phase. Once I get over that hump, we're going to be rocking and rolling. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background, where you come from, your experience. Um, so. I'm from a small little fishing town on the northeast of England called Grimsby. Um, I played since basically I could walk, that's what we do, it's just like football over here, we kick a ball, you guys throw a ball. Um, but um, you know, I grew up playing the game and I had professional tryouts with my local professional team, which I wouldn't look them up because they're horrible right now, so <laughs> don't use that as an example. Um, but um, once I got to college in England, I decided I wanted to do something different, and that brought me to America for a soccer scholarship at Cardinal Stritch University, which is a small private NAIA school in Milwaukee. Um, and there um, we played, obviously, a very high standard. Um, we won regional championship. We were runners-up in our conference. We won and were runners-up in a futsal, in futsal tournament, which is a smaller version of the game. Um, and then from there, I just picked up coaching. I wanted to give back to the sport. I wanted to build my knowledge and give it back to everybody I knew. Um, so I started with seven, eight-year-olds, built it up from there. And then that brought me out here. Just to keep it short and simple for you. We can talk afterwards. We can we'll yeah. a quick coffee and we'll, I'll yeah. probably explain to them. Absolutely. <laughs> Anybody else? When do you? Yes. Have you recruited anybody on campus, or have you looked at um, young women that might already be here? Um, quite frankly, I got here just last night. Okay. Um, so this morning, uh, I was just taking care of paperwork and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, as soon as I get the list of women who are interested, then we'll bring them all in, we'll get to know them, we'll see what qualities they have and how far they want to go with the sport. Um, and that's where we'll start on campus, using those list of women who are already here or already want to play, and then reach out from there. Um, part of my goal is to make this program a South Dakota based program so that we're drawing talent to, instead of going out of state we can get the best talent to come over here um, and then from there we'll use the surrounding states and of course I've got plenty of um, contacts in Wisconsin so I'll be using those contacts and then being from England I've got loads of contacts in Europe and I've already got girls from Canada and Nigeria who want to come over here and play so to help diversify not only the program but the school in general but as long as we can build that base and starting with those women who are on campus and then going from there and reaching out to the local high schools and then within South Dakota, we're going to build a great program just based off of what we can get from South Dakota. Yes. Do you look, what do you look for, see in the spring, like practicing, getting scrimmages going? Um, that is based off what I get in terms of interest. Um, if we come together say over the winter or even over the next few weeks and we try and see what we've got on the field and maybe play some futsal or something in that region um, and then we'll go from there. Um, if we have enough girls who are interested and uh, we can get a scrimmage together where you know, it's just to see what people can do then why not? All depends on what comes forward and what the interest is um, and then we'll go from there. So you'll play competitively next fall correct? in the conference? Yes. That's what I'm looking to make. Any other questions for Coach Blake? All right, thank you for coming. Uh, media outlets, if you want one-on-one -on -one interviews, you will be available here. Thank you. Thank you.